Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an everyday mommy makeup routine. This is what I do on a daily basis. If I even do any makeup, I really do not wear it every day. First of all, I'm going to start out with some facial wipes. These are French lavender and citrus from the Dollar Tree. Cheap and effective. Let's cleanse my face. Make sure it's nice and clean. My eyebrows are horrendous. But let's not talk about that right now. I've got my face all um, cleansed. Some days I might use something like this, like a facial cream. This one is a nice one. Smells medicinal. It's by um, Youth and the People. Is that the brand? And it's called Kale Plus Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid um, Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. A little bit of that. I'm getting older and I need it. I tend to stay really dry right through here and forehead, tip of my nose. Try to get right in here. I am 40 now, so. I try to moisturize as much as I can. All right. Next, take this Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. And I don't wear too much, just a little. Most days, I just take my fingers. Just being honest here, I'm not fancy. Just do what works. Especially being a mom of a lot of kids, I have to be quick. <laughs> because face it, somebody's gonna get in a racket. So, got that. Today, I'm just going for basic, which, like I said, is most every day. I do have some dark circles going on. I have some Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm just going to brighten my eyes up with this. And then... don't think I'm going to wear any eyeshadow today, so I'm just going to put some of that on there to just brighten it up a little bit. Um, next, if I'm on a light day, which this is, I will just do some mascara. I'm going to use this one. There went my heat. I'm sorry.
try not to make the um, big mascara face. This Betty Boop mascara is really nice. Big. I have to rate this one with my Marc Jacobs that I love so well. Hope it's not expensive because I've never been able to afford the Marc Jacobs. I just wait for samples in my boxes. This one is really good. It gives you some lint and pull. Is that the right word for mascara? Plumping? Alright. that it really gives me eyelashes all right and as I'm going for a light kind of day I'm going to use this plumping serum by hard candy Give my hair just a little brush. And that is literally it for my everyday mommy routine, which is a quick, fast routine for a busy mommy. And yeah. As a side note, I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas this year. Um, my grandson, John, and his mommy, my daughter, made me two ornaments for Christmas. And they're so adorable. Are you ready to see this most adorable Christmas present? This is established. 2019 and G for grandma. Most people my age want to be called Nana or something other than grandma, but not me. I love the word grandma. I feel like it's a privilege to be called grandma and I love this. This can't get no better than this. And little John made me this one is so very adorable. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look! It's his little baby hand. Now if that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will. John is... Eight months now. And he is so adorable. He's growing lots every day um, starting to move around crawling um, yeah I'll do an update on John a little later and I have some big news for you guys I still have to share I just didn't want to do it in this video but I will in the next one I just wanted to share with you guys my 2020 goals I always try and do this I usually make it into its own video but I'm just going to smush it into this video this time. Um, number one is be a better mom, and I really do need to work on that. I need to be more um, mindful. I don't know if that's the word. I need to spend more time with my children. 
Um, number two, financially stable. I really, really want to be financially stable in 2020. 2019 has been very, very hard financially as I did move, but my property didn't sell. So I'm kind of in very, very bad financial shape right now. So I want to make that better. Number three, get organized. We are a bigger family. We live in a um, three-bedroom, two-bath mobile home, but it seems small to me. So I need to get organized, declutter, etc. Number four, read more. I love to read, and I don't take the time. I can't say I don't have the time because I do. I just don't use my time wisely. So I want to try to read more in 2020. Number five, more charity and giving. I always want to give more, do more for charity, but it's hard to when you're so financially strapped. So that kind of ties in with number two, which is be more financially stable so that I can do uh, more charity and stuff. I have a couple of things I've always wanted to do and I just can't find it. Number six, travel more, more experiences. I'd love to be able to take my kids to more places and have more experiences with them. Number seven, Christmas in NYC. I've always wanted to spend Christmas Eve, um, Christmas in New York City. So I'm going to put that as a goal. That is a very um, big goal, but, you know, that's why they're goals, right? you got to work towards them. So I don't know if I'll get that done this year if number two, being financially stable, doesn't happen. We'll see, I guess. Number eight, Vegas vacation. I love Las Vegas. I love everything about it. I want to live there and I've planned to live there, but it kind of fell through. I'm still trying to sell my property. Everybody that looks at it says they don't have the money, but they want to do rent to own, and I think that could be risky. I'm not sure. Number nine, I've always wanted to take my kids to Disneyland, Disney World, and the sad part is, is a lot of my kids are grown now, so... But if I'm more financially stable, I could possibly take them all anyway. So, yeah. Um, number 10 is pretty simple. Eat more vegetables. I'm not going to be putting lose weight in 2020 or anything like that. But I do need to eat more vegetables, as does my children. So, we're going to strive to eat more vegetables, at least with dinner. Yeah, we need to. Number 11, move out of the trailer park into a nice house. I would love to live in a nice house and maybe possibly even a locked away swimming pool. My son loves, 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 loves to swim. And I always wanted to get him a place with a swimming pool. That, so yeah, that is my 11 2020 goals. That is all I can think of at the moment. I have them wrote on paper right here. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I certainly appreciate every view. It really helps my little family out. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. And feel free to share. I don't mind. I love and appreciate all you guys. And I hope your 2020 is amazing.